Take a moment to think about browsing the web in a way that feels completely different from what you're used to. No annoying ads, endless links, or the usual distractions. Instead, you could simply ask the internet for what you need, and it would respond like a helpful assistant. Sounds like something from the future, right? Well, OpenAI is on the verge of making this vision a reality with an ambitious new project that could change the way we think about browsing forever. In this video, we'll dive into how OpenAI plans to challenge Google's dominance, reshape search, and offer users a smarter, more intuitive browsing experience. Stick around, because this is just the beginning of a thrilling new chapter in AI. OpenAI and Google are locked in a fierce rivalry over AI dominance, with both companies constantly trying to outshine each other in developing the best chatbot. This ongoing battle has led to some of the fastest advancements in AI we've ever seen. In the midst of this competition, OpenAI is making an ambitious move by exploring the idea of creating its own web browser. This isn't just about competing with Google Chrome or joining the browser market. OpenAI wants to completely change how people interact with the internet. Their vision involves directly integrating ChatGPT into the browsing experience, making it smarter, more intuitive, and completely focused on the user. OpenAI has made some big moves lately, bringing on two key figures who played a major role in creating Google Chrome, Ben Goodger and Darren Fisher. The report also mentions that OpenAI has been exploring partnerships with various companies to create advanced search tools. These tools would cater to industries like travel, food, real estate, and retail, helping websites offer smarter search features. Sources familiar with these projects say prototypes or designs have already been shared, and OpenAI has reached out to companies like Condé Nast, Redfin, Eventbrite, and Priceline to discuss these ideas or possibly even form partnerships. But what makes this truly exciting? Unlike traditional browsers, which rely on ad revenue and show search results cluttered with links, OpenAI's browser could prioritize the user experience above all else. It's a bold move, especially considering Google Chrome's dominance, holding about 63% of the global browser market. However, there are signs that Google's grip might be loosening. The US Department of Justice has raised concerns about Google's monopolistic practices, even suggesting that the company might have to sell Chrome to reduce its control over online search. This situation opens a unique opportunity for competitors like OpenAI to step in with something fresh and innovative. The information highlights how OpenAI is working on its idea of a natural language web, aiming to transform how people interact with websites or apps. Instead of clicking around and navigating menus, the idea is to let users simply talk to the website. This would bring conversational search features to the forefront, making the experience much more natural and intuitive. Right now though, most of this is still in the planning stage. These are ideas being explored and discussed, and while they sound exciting, it's not guaranteed that they'll become reality. OpenAI isn't just aiming to compete with Chrome, it wants to reimagine what a browser can do by putting AI at its core. This aligns with their progress in search technology, where their Search GPT product is already making waves. Unlike traditional search engines, Search GPT delivers direct answers with clear sources, eliminating the need to sift through endless pages of results. This approach is all about efficiency and accuracy, standing in stark contrast to Google's model, which relies on ads and sponsored content to keep users engaged. Google, of course, isn't sitting back. Its own AI chatbot, Gemini, is a big part of its strategy to counter OpenAI's growing presence. Gemini, launched in 2022, has been evolving quickly, and its latest update, Gemini Exp1121, recently reclaimed the top spot on the LMM Swiss Arena leaderboard, which anonymously evaluates large language models. OpenAI's GPT-40 update had taken the lead for a while, but Gemini's improvements quickly leveled the playing field. This constant back and forth between OpenAI and Google highlights just how intense their competition has become, with both companies racing to deliver the best innovations and user experiences. The November update to GPT-40 has brought some major changes, especially in creative writing. The AI now produces responses that feel more natural, engaging, and tailored to individual needs. People have praised it for its human-like touch, whether it's being used for storytelling, professional tasks, or academic purposes. The update didn't just improve creativity, it also made the model faster. Its token output rate jumped from 80 per second to 180, making it much more efficient, especially for users working on tight schedules. That said, the update came with a small downside. The model's math benchmark score dropped from 78% to 69%, suggesting that the focus on creativity slightly impacted its technical precision. 
Even so, many users feel this trade-off was worth it, especially those who value the AI's ability to create smooth, coherent, and context-aware content. The update also improved how the model analyzes uploaded files, giving users deeper insights and more detailed interpretations. This makes it a powerful tool for professionals in research, education, and project management. ChatGPT's growing popularity reflects its success. It now has 250 million weekly active users, with around 5% to 6% of free users upgrading to the paid version. This large user base shows just how valuable the platform has become in a world increasingly driven by AI. OpenAI's commitment to improving user experience has clearly paid off, solidifying its reputation as a leader in the AI industry. OpenAI isn't just advancing its technology, it's also building strategic partnerships to expand its reach. One notable collaboration is with Apple, where OpenAI's technology powers several of Apple's intelligent features. This partnership integrates advanced AI seamlessly into Apple's ecosystem, enhancing the functionality of their devices. At the same time, reports suggest OpenAI is in talks with Samsung to bring similar features to their products. If this partnership goes through, it could significantly shake up the Android ecosystem, where Google has long been dominant. OpenAI's approach to content partnerships is also making waves. Earlier this year, the company teamed up with Hearst to incorporate credible, well-sourced content into ChatGPT. This collaboration ensures users get accurate information, complete with citations, and direct links to original articles. By addressing common concerns about AI-generated content, OpenAI has taken steps to boost transparency and trust. While OpenAI continues to push boundaries, Google isn't staying idle. With its vast resources, Google has been improving Gemini to handle complex queries and creative tasks. Gemini's recent updates have put it on par with many of OpenAI's capabilities. This rivalry between the two tech giants is driving innovation at an incredible pace, giving users access to some of the most advanced tools available today. These developments point to a broader shift in how we use technology. OpenAI's focus on creating ad-free, user-centered search and browsing experiences challenges the traditional internet models dominated by ads. If successful, this approach could reshape the way businesses and consumers interact with online content, moving toward a system that prioritizes usability and relevance over ad-driven revenue. The impact of these advancements goes far beyond just tech enthusiasts. Tools like ChatGPT and SearchGPT are becoming an essential part of how people work, learn, and stay connected. OpenAI's innovations are raising the bar for what AI can do, making interactions smoother, easier to understand, and more effective. It's not just about making technology smarter, it's about making it more useful and accessible to everyone. This is a thrilling time for technology. The tools being developed now aren't just convenient, they're reshaping how we navigate and interact with the digital world. OpenAI's work to redefine search, enhance AI capabilities, and explore new uses is creating a more intuitive and efficient online experience. At the same time, Google's commitment to improving Gemini keeps the competition strong, pushing both companies to keep innovating. This isn't just about who's ahead, it's about driving a major transformation. The breakthroughs we're seeing now mark the start of a new chapter in technology, where AI becomes central to how we engage with the digital world. OpenAI's bold ideas and constant progress show they're not just part of the race, they're leading it. As we've seen, OpenAI is not just shaking up the tech world, they're redefining it. With their plans for a new browser and innovative search tools, they're putting user experience and AI at the forefront of the digital landscape. While the competition with Google is fierce, one thing is clear, OpenAI is pushing the boundaries of what technology can do. But what does this mean for the future? It's an exciting time, as we may soon be using AI in ways we've never imagined before. Smarter, more intuitive, and completely user-centered. So, what are your thoughts on OpenAI's moves? Do you think they're on the path to revolutionizing the internet, or is it just another challenge for Google? If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of AI, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates. Stay tuned for the next chapter in this tech battle. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.